Hi, people of the Philippines and people of the world. Hit the button below and you will be subscribing to the Boy Abunda Talk channel on YouTube. Let's keep talking. Infinite Monkeys and the Boy Abunda Talk channel in partnership with Lani Abunda Amasa, Thor B. Santos, Michael Alan Sikat, Boy Abunda, and Boy So present. Legalization of money by a Yes or no? Divorce? Yes or no? Mahalaga ba ang pagsali sa debate? Isang kandidatin sa set or sinabi pa? Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Welcome to Fast Talk Plus and Why with our 2022 senatorial candidates. Our very special guest, Senator Dick Gordon. Dick, maraming salamat. Oy, I'm always ready to at your call. <laughs> you were one of the best interviewers in the business. Maraming salamat. Long time no see. I don't like it. I hate it because when I'm in it, then you are only given five or two minutes to answer. Na yung pang intriga, and I think na na bobo bobo del instead of talking about vital issues, baka yung ka sigaw na lang na sigaw, na tatanda lang na lang yung patawa. And this is serious stuff. Kailangan talaga matuto sila sa issues. Otherwise, they will not know how to vote. You know, isang natutunan ko sa isang political expert in the U.S. and I just remember it now. We must be able to separate what is governance and what is electoral contest. Correct. Diva? Oh. oh. Because you have to do certain things during the elections that you wouldn't be able to do as, you know, a uh, Senate. Oh, there are two uh, different personalities right away. Once you're in governance, you have a personality. Yeah. You can be stern, firm, and fair. In the electoral contest, you can be something that you aren't. You're presenting something that you aren't. There's a lot of hypocrisy there. That's true. But what is your threshold? What wouldn't you do during elections? I, I don't want to dance uh, stupidly. I can dance, I can sing, but I think uh, I, I don't like na binobobo natin yung masa. Na akala natin hindi sila marunong. Marunong ang masa. Mm. They can detect a fool. They can detect pag niloloko mo sila. But I would prefer na talagang there's a dialogue. That's why I have to go near the crowd. Kahit na umulan, magbabasa ako para makita ko yung mata nila kung nakikinig sila. So that's the reason why you go Close to as close audience. as you can. Okay. It's not healthy. But it's <laughs> not, not because of the rain, but because somebody could shoot you, especially with my family investigation. You're up against 63 other senatorial candidates. What are your chances, Dick? Well, I do my best, and I can only do my best. If God says, go ahead, win, I'll enjoy myself with Kate and the, and the grandchildren, go fishing, and concentrate on what I like best helping other people in Red Cross. What separates you from the rest? Well, I think there are lines or boundary lines that I, as you say, I won't do. And there are, my, my goal is to uplift the level of behavior and standard of thinking of our people and not to go down to, you know, going to cheap uh, gimmicks and stuff like that. So the other thing that makes me going is that this is an important election because uh, we are 110 million people. We're facing high prices of oil. And if we don't tell them what's ahead, then magugulajan. You might have riots in the streets. You might have looting. So they have to know what's up ahead so that they will know what to expect. Umpisahan na po natin ang fast talk. Was I too serious? Una, isabo. Suspend or continue? Why? Suspend because hindi pa natin na intindihan. Bakit to mataya yung mga bata? Everybody has access to a phone nowadays. Yung mga OFW, yung nakakalugi-lugi, eh hindi naman dapat araw-araw may isabong. In the law, we can lang ang sabong. And uh, to, my, to my mind, it's all right to have sabong, that's part of the culture. So I think we should suspend until we can fix it, fine-tune it. Wealth tax or digital tax and why? Yung digital tax, tatax mo lahat ng bumibili, that's regressive. Kawawa yung bumibili, that's palaging nakatax yun. Yung wealth tax, tinatax mo yung mga mayayaman. Kung tatax mo yung mayayaman, katulad sa Amerika, binababa nila yung tax para mag-re-invest mag, uh, sila. Pag nag-re-invest sila, may trabaho. So, kailangan i-fine-tune natin yan. Dahil, uh, on the other hand, mabilis yung uh, digital tax. Mabilis rin yun pagbili nila. And that runs the economy. At kung makamisan yung digital economy, 
can lead to disastrous consequences. Bili nang bili, it becomes an addiction. Legalize or criminalize abortion and why? No, I'm not in favor of legalize uh, abortion because it's a moral issue. Uh, uh, life begins uh, upon conception and I've been trained to do that. I was an altar boy uh, in Latin and uh, I really believe that uh, people, uh, uh, the, the children have uh, the right of choice even if they cannot do so. And uh, why should you interfere with God's plan? Are you for or against lowering the age of criminal responsibility and why? You know, in America, kahit na 9 years old ka or 10 years old ka, makakasuhan ka and you can go to life imprisonment, even go to the electric chair. And to my mind, magandang pag-usapan niya para matutuhan ng mga bata na lahat ng inyong gagawin, meron kang accountability. But I'm not ready to lower it because I think ang educational system natin isn't there yet. So, kailangan bilisan natin yan para ma-realize ng ba na tayo ay may accountability sa lahat ng gagawin natin. Anti-terrorism law needs to be amended. Agree, disagree, why? Well, ako, uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The only thing that's broken about it is the way the military, some people in the military are trying to enforce it, ginagamit na panakot sa mga tao, at delikado yun, baka mamaya masaktan yung mga tao tinatakot nila, katulad doon nangyayari doon sa doktor na inangalan ko, hinuli. Magna cum laude sa, P, uh, sa BGA, sinuli at uh, kinulong, tapos nilif yung, nilif yung order. So dapat dahan-dahan tayo. In terrorism is indeed a danger, and I agree with it. You have to be firm, purposeful, and swift, but you cannot violate rights of the people. Are you for or against political dynasty? Bakit? Ako ang political dynasty, yung mga Kennedys, sasabi mga political dynasty. A dynasty is an imposition. Pinipilit mo yung mga tao. And it has become that way in many respects because ang mga dynasties ngayon, parang they want to control because anong nangyari yan, term limits, hindi nila matatapos in three years or nine years. Kaya gusto nila may kapalit. That's the noble one. But the other way is, papalitan ka, magme-mayor isa, magbabayos mayor, magpapalit kayo. Hindi naman masama yan per se. It's still the people who will select. But I think we can control it by saying, term limits, uh, no term limits, saya mo para tuloy-tuloy sila because mas mahaba ang term, mas magkakaroon ng uh, experience. At uh, pagka yan may term limits, ay eh, makikita niya na kaya niya gawin. Kung nakakalat siya, yun ang mangyayari. As a country, should we lean more towards China or America in our foreign policy? Why? As a country, we must learn our national interest. Ang national interest palagi ang desisyon. Ang China, kinukuha yung dagat natin. Kinasabi nila, friendly sila. That's not friendly. So you have to stand up to them. Uh, ang gusto nila, mano-mano ang discussion. Ayaw nila in a group na may kasama tayo. Hindi tama yun because unequal treaties are the result of unequal bargaining strength. So ang sinasabi ko, dapat mamili tayo ng mga kakampi natin para you put China at bay. Otherwise, you have another Hitler prowling and another Putin prowling in Asia. Open pit mining or in situ mining, why? Responsible mining is the key. And uh, alam mo, a lot of hypocrisy here. Meron tayong diwal-wal. Ayun, talagang parang uh, west, wild, wild west yun. Open pit, hat tumukuha. Walang kinikita halos ang gobyerno. Hindi. So, ang kailangan dyan, enforcement. Kung open pit mining, kailangan malaman ng tao na nakakasama sa kanila. Kung ayaw nila, no open pit mining. Dapat yun ang democracy. That's the essence. But we have to have mining because kung walang mining, wala tayong barko, wala tayong kutsara, tinidor, wala tayong gamit. Good manners and right conduct or ROTC? Both. Why? Both. Good manners and right conduct should be taught at home and then it should be emphasized in school. ROTC is good. It shows that you have a duty. When I was in the Constitutional Convention, I put that as a duty. Everybody has a duty to defend the country. You know, you all have rights. Kailang may duty ka, may tulak ka. And when I was an ROTC officer as well, and I enjoyed it. It taught me to be a leader. It taught me how to handle a weapon responsibly. And I thought that if we are attacked, remember, hunters, guerrillas, remember, lumaban yung mga yan nung World War II. That we need. Legalization of wetting, agree or disagree, and why? I have said once upon a time that we should legalize wetting because hindi mapigil eh. E yung mayayaman, meron silang kasino. Hindi mo naman pinipigil, sabi. Pagka may certain income, di ka makakapasok. Hypocrisy again. It's all in the terms of uh, uh, per, uh, enforcing the law. Ngayon, kung ang wetting, limit mo. Yung, yung pag-enjoy mo, hindi ba? Nung araw, tumakataya rin ako dyan. Gis lang ang wetting nung araw. Yung mga waiter namin, kobrador. I, I enjoyed it because kumikita rin sila. Pero pagka naman ginagamit na yung wetting para maging hari ka ng isang bayan, kinokontrol mo yung politika, then you really have to fine-tune it. 
Kailangan lang talaga you watch it with an eagle eye. Commission on appointments or committee on finance? I can do both. I will work hard for both. I've been in the commission on appointments. Maraming, uh, maraming, kanyan, eh? maraming compromises dyan. Eh? And, yeah, I have rejected people in the commission on appointments. And sometimes it's not very comfortable because napopromote yung sundalo, haharangin mo, masama ang loob mo, dahil hindi siya mapromote. Ba't kasalanan niya? Ba't ako sisisihin? That's my duty. Commission on Finance, kailangan Committee on Finance, dapat marunong ka kung anong magiging budget ng gobyerno, anong, anong revenues ang kikitahin natin, saan tayo kukuha, at sa paano gagamitin niya. So parang importante yung committee yan. And I can do, bo do both well. Pork barrel, good, bad, why? Pork barrel is good if you use it properly. Kaya sinawag pork barrel, you have to bring in the uh the the ham or the, the pork uh, when you go home because alimbawa ikaw wala kang connection at ikaw summer ka tiga late ka wala kang connection ang presidente anong bibigyan niyan so kung meron kang congressman yung gusto mong tulay na mapapagawa mahahabol mo yan ang masama sa pork barrel pagka hindi ginagawa yung project o talagang tinatasan 60% ang kickback 40% na lang natitira diyan hulihin natin ang problema natin sigaw tayo nang sigaw hindi naman natin hinuhuli So, lalong bumaba ang moral natin. Ang importante palagi, enforcement. Pwede pa bang bumaba ang buwis ng mga empleyado? Oo, hindi. Bakit? Well, kung marami may trabaho, ang problema, hindi mo mababaan eh. Because kung kalahati na itong kwarto na may trabaho, kalahati wala, anong solusyon? Bababa mo yung buwis, di wala ka nang bibigay doon sa mga ayuda, wala ka nang bibigay sa mga social uh, causes like hospitals, etc. Pero, kung maraming trabaho at maraming collection ng buwis, pwede mong ibabayan. But normally, hindi binababayan because yan ang tinatawag nila na paggagamitan ng mga uh, solusyon sa bayan. Dapat bang college graduate ang isang senador o mambabatas? Yes, no, bakit? Eh, kung papasok ka sa gobyerno, kailangan college graduate ka. Papasok ka sa private course. College graduate ka, college graduate na. Kung minsan, kinakagat kahit anong trabaho. Eh, sa gobyerno, lalo na sa senado. Pag pumasok ka sa senado, dapat may akdang talino ka. Dapat talaga, kaya mong magpaliwanag. At kung ikaw ay kaya mo magpaliwanag, mas madali sa iyo at mas mabuti sa tao. Kung di mo kaya magpaliwanag, ikaw ay, let's say, artistahin ka, gusto mong makuha yung popularity, tapos pagdating mo doon, magtatanong ka, ano bang boto natin dyan? Hindi ka makapag-debate, mahirap yan eh. Mahirap pumasok sa ganun na hindi ka makakasa dahil kulang yung iyong uh, pagre-research. Sabi ni iba, kukuha ng abogado. E di kumuha na lang tayo ng abogado, huwag na tayo mag-eleksyon. Mahalaga ba ang pagsali sa debate ng isang kandidato sa eleksyon? Of yes course, no, bakit? Of course, that tatanda mo yung sinabi ni nung isang vice president kay Mr. Quayle, I know Jack Kennedy, but you're no Jack Kennedy. Hindi ba sabi sa kanya? Ang importante dyan is kailangan malaman natin. The people have a right to know where you stand. You know, you're there. Bibilag ka, pupunta ka sa UN, magninegotiate ka. Kundi kung di ka marunong makipag-debate, kung di ka marunong makipag-negotiate, eh walang mayayari sa atin. Kaya dapat malaman ng tao, Tanggalin yung maskara na nagkukunwari at malaman kung may ibubuga ka. Kung wala ka ibubuga, sorry. Ikaw ba'y naniniwala na merong extrajudicial killings during the war on drugs o hindi? Bakit? We have had extrajudicial killings for the last several administrations. I've been battling against it. That's why nilagay ko yung motorcycle uh, uh, crime prevention law. Ay ang problema. May nasama. Sabi, dalawang plaka. Isa lang ang plaka noon. Para makikita ka agad kung sino walang plaka, may report sa isang center dito, call center na, tatawagan ka agad kung saan tumatakbo yung mga motosiklo na ninakaw o walang plaka. Eh, ang problema dito, eh, uh, pag nangyari yan, eh, walang, walang, authentic, walang accountability na naman. There have been 7,500 killings in the last five years. That's 7,500. Too many. Nakita mo yun, nag nagsiskipping road yung fiscal, binaril, lumabas yung bata, daddy, daddy, wala na siyang tatay. Hindi nahuli. Nahuli, mali pa yung... Uh, kaya kailangan magawa yan. BOC, Bureau of Customs, is believed to be the most corrupt agency in government. What will you do and why? First, alisin mo yung perception na corrupt sila. Kailangan sabihin mo, magaling tayo dito. At pakita mo, tumataas yung collection. Pakita mo, may nahuli ka. Kung corrupt, BOC or BIR or DPWA, kailangan hulihin. Ang nangyayari, binabato doon sa customs, sila napapagbibintangan. Pero marami rin gobyerno na talagang corrupt. LTO, maraming corruption dyan. When was the last time you got a new plate number? Labing dalawang taon na, hindi pa nabibigay yung plaka mo. Kaya maraming crime on board, motorcycles and cars and everything like that. Should churches actively campaign in times of elections? Why? Churches are also, the priests are also citizens of this country. They are entitled to get a passport, they are entitled to vote, and they have an opinion, freedom of speech. But they must also be accountable. 
Kaya maingat ang simbahan, kunyari ayaw nila magkampanya. Because kung isa, pag namali, mamimix ngayon yung dogma at saka yung uh, politika. So it's important na nasa kanila yan on their own. But I don't have any problems with the priest running or a priest uh, making comments. I think that's important. Sir Dick, papapasukin mo ba sa bahay mo ang isang taong unvaccinated? Oo, hindi bakit? Well, certainly, ang sawa ko, affected yan eh. I mean, hindi ko siya papapasukin, but I'll keep him distance. If he needs help, I will let him in. I will uh, create distance and make sure he has a mask. I'll give him a mask. I'll make sure that he washes. And then I'll make sure, because Red Cross, Red Cross ako, ipatest mo kagad yan. Peace talks with uh, the Communist Party of the Philippines, New People's Army, National Democratic Front. Agree or disagree? Why? Uh, peace is needed in this country. If we're not... If we're not peaceful, if we're disunited, you cannot invite business. You cannot govern well. Kailangan lang mag-meet yung mga tao at talagang pag-aralan ang national interest. Mahirap naman nakikipag-peace tapos pumapatay na sundalo. Kunyari, pababababay tapos papatay. Hindi pwede yun. It must be serious. And there is something to be said about the fact na we have the longest insurgency. Mukhang hindi nag-work yung, yung, yung kanilang mga uh, Mickey Mouse uh, movements. No? Maraming pa rin napapatay na sundalo, maraming pa rin napapatay na kwa, meron pa revolutionary taxes, hindi mo malaman kung totoo yan o yan ay negosyo na. So, kailangan magkaroon tayo ng peace talks. Paiipin ba ang Blue Ribbon Committee ng Senado? Yes or no? Why? Yes. Alam mo, ang Blue Ribbon Committee at the Senator Gordon is the only Blue Ribbon na nakapagpakulong for life imprisonment ng mataas na pinuno ng Commission on Immigration. Committee, uh, yung, yung dalawang Deputy Commissioner, Uh, binakalan nila yung Chinese at saka alam ko mas malaki pa nakuha pero nahuli namin sila nakuha namin sa TV pinakuha ko sa TV doon sa kasino yung binibili na pera ilagay nila ilagay sa bag nila sa kotse tinawag pa yung kamag-anak nakakulong sila ngayon panalo ang tao kailangan manalo ang tao ang Blue Ribbon is there in aid of legislation at ito ay eh, para talaga magkaroon ng talagang check and balance eh kung hihinaan mo yan kaya maling mali ang presidente pag hindi mo pinapapunta ang iyong kabinete para mag-attend sapagkat hinaharang mo yung powers ng co-equal branch of government. Hinaharang mo ang karapatan ng tao, malaman. Pag ikay pinalad at makabalik sa Senado, do you want to be Senate President? Yes, no, why? I can be whatever I am. I don't want to be Senate President uh, because uh, uh, nakatali ka doon at saka maraming compromises. Mahina ako sa compromises. Eh. Ako ay take a position. Well, tinitira yung Senado ng Presidente. Sasagot ako. Mr. President, mag-usap tayo. Don't hit the Senate. O kaya may senador na out of line, nagluloko, I have to take action. Eh, in that sense, I will be a bad Senate President. Freedom of speech and press freedom come with the power to invent fake news. Agree or disagree? Why? No. Uh, the freedom of speech doesn't tell you to call fire in a... Uh, it doesn't allow you to say fire, fire in a big loaded uh, theater. Freedom of speech requires accountability. Kung wala yun, then it is just uh, uh, invectives. At kailangan ngayon, yan ang pinakamalaking threat sa mundo ngayon. Because uh, all these fake news, all these uh, fake news that is not supported by facts, sabi nga ni Maria Reza, I like her, when she said, uh, kung false ito yung sinasabi niya, you will not have the truth. And if you do not have truth, you will not have trust. If you do not have trust, you will have no democratic government. I agree with that. Tama ba o hindi ang kasalukuyang proseso na ang justices and judges are selected and appointed by the GABC and the President of the Philippines? Why? There is no perfect process. Commission appointments must open yun. Pero makikita mo yung kapangyarihan ng mga kongkongkong. Noong araw may kongresman, pag sinabi niyang ayaw, hindi ma-appoint yung judge. O kaya kailangan he has to go down and kneel down before him. Eh hindi dapat yun. Kaya nilagay yung Judicial Bar Council. But whether it's Judicial Bar Council or Commission Appointment, dapat responsable yung ilalagay mo. Hindi mambabastos, hindi magte-take advantage, at dapat ina-scrutinize mo ang kakayahan. Justice is most important in any society. If you don't have good judges, patay ang society. As Senator, what would you do to mitigate climate change and why? Well, everybody has to take part. People must always be the process, part of the process of change. I, I would like to see trains in this country. Japan had trains at the turn of the century. Look at how rich they are. Because mura yung, uh, yung mura, mura yung, uh, yung plete. Eh, ganun rin sa atin. Dati may trend tayo. Nawala yung release natin patungo sa Demortis. Hindi kumita yung Bicol, dala wala yung trade. Sa Cebu, nawala rin yung trade. Kung may trend tayo, yayaman tayo. Wala pang masyadong uh, effect sa climate change except yung usok. Pero at least, ang mga tao, mas mabilis at uh, safe sila na mura yung kanilang pamasay. Lalo na ngayon. So, I would also do uh, 
yung mga alternative energy, which I'm doing already. Meron kami mga solar panels. Marami tayong water. May dam tayo. And also, sa 19th Congress, sa dat darating na kongreso, given the chance to deliver your first privilege speech, what is this about and why? Well, I don't think I, I will deliver a speech just to have a chance. <laughs> My first privilege speech when I was a uh, senator was uh, Bidali yung judge on his way to work. And we got the criminal. Nakakulong. Drug pusher. Drug, drug, drug lord. So privileged speeches should be used sparingly. Ang nakakatawa dyan eh, nung mga, mga unang araw, walang gagawin yung mga senado. Sabi niya, di ka pwede ka mag-privileged speech because they know I can speak extemporaneously. Privileged speeches should be used sparingly and must be done for effect. At pagka nag-privileged speech ka, papasok yan sa committee. Dapat susundan yan ng investigasyon at resolusyon na, magagawa, na may magagawa ka. Kung wala yun, bola lang yan. Should uh, social media be regulated or censored? Bakit? No, I don't think you should censor, but you must regulate. Because ang importante dyan, parang yung mga uh, cellphone na uh, prepaid, hindi mo alam kung sino tumatawag siya. Minumura ka, hindi mo alam kung sino sumasawag. There's a lot of tyrants out there, little tyrants, little cowards, who don't want to show their face. Mumurahin ka, sisiraan ka, pagsisirungalingan ka, kung ano nang sasabihin sa'yo, tama ba yan? No. Good manners and right conduct. Responsible citizens are what we need. And you don't get uh, bravery when you're hiding behind a computer or a cell phone. You get bravery when you can stand up to the president and tell him, you do not deserve to be president of this country. And this is why you should not be president of the country. At this point uh, in your life, do you still want to be president of this country? Yes, no, why? Well, a long time ago, I thought I would have made the best president of this country because I'm totally prepared, even now. But, you know, it takes 30 years to change the country. Pag palaki ka ng anak, by 21 years old, graduate na yan. May panlaban na siya. Ganun ang process ng country. After, to, uh, by the time he reaches 25, may trabaho na siya, nakapag-ipo na siya. He's preparing to be an entrepreneur. By 30 years old, mayaman na siya. Ganun rin ang masa. All countries, Japan, Singapore, lahat siya Korea, nagkagyala sila. After 20, 25 years, lumaki sila. It takes continuous good leadership. So the people must elect good leaders. Bad leaders are the result of bad voters. If you had the power to fire someone in government today, who would this be and why? I would not forgive a policeman if he does something wrong. I would not forgive a cautious man if he's really uh, raking it in while everybody has to pay their taxes. It depends. Hindi naman basta porque may power ka, gagawin mo. I would fire even the president in a flash if he's defending people who are guilty. And that's, that's why you have impeachment. Unfortunately, naunahan tayo ng takot. Dito, pag nakaharap mo yung malaki, huwag ka na lumaban. Baka matatalo ka dyan. They will discourage you. And this is the only country in, in the world na talagang wala tayong confidence. That's why James Fallows tells us, we are a people that want to be another nationality. Because walang confidence na ang tao sa ating mga leaders. Senator Dick, you're a public servant, you're a child of God, you're a son, a husband, a brother. Who are you first? I'm one? selfish. I'm all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> because I can be... I can be a public servant. I'm the king's servant, sabi nga nung isang, sabi ni St. Thomas More. But God's first. There's always a balancing thing. You know, your, your actuations as a public servant uh, is governed by your education in the family, in the church, in the school. So you cannot be say, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this. You have to make sure that your values are kept intact. And when you have that, panalo ka. Dick, maraming salamat. Thank you. Tapos na tayo dun sa ating 30 fast talk questions. <laughs> Ngayon naman ay magkatuwaan tayo ng konti. <laughs> Dito na tayo sa light, fast talk question. Senator Dick, lights on or lights off and why? Well, lights off when you don't use it. Because masalang kuryente ngayon, magagalit si papa at saka si mama. <laughs> best time for sex and why? When you have the right partner, any time is the best time for sex. You're up against 63 other senatorial candidates. Kung ikaw yung magsasama ng isa sa langit, hypothetical, sinong isasama mo at bakit? As much as possible lahat, I will try to save their souls. But some are unsalvageable. <laughs> <laughs> Kung may isasama ka sa impyerno, sino at Mauna na sila, hindi ko sasama. Pati <laughs> mo na ako pumunta sa impyerno. <laughs> yes or no, Dick? Um, does size matter and why? Size always matters but it depends on the action of the waves. A big wave and a small wave matters, but it depends on the action of the waves. Sex or Wi-Fi, and why? Ano ba naman yan? Siyempre, sex na ako. Nadagdagan ko pa ng seven. 
<laughs> sex or chocolates, and why? Sex. Uh, chocolates, that's why you do sex with exercise. Ka. You gain a lot of ground, right? Sex or senado? Sex, pa rin. <laughs> <laughs> senado. <laughs> Mas senado is really awesome. Tapos, you're eh, frustrated. At least, sex is kind of frustrated. <laughs> okay. <Di ba? laughs> Last question. You are the pearly gates, and God is there. And He says, Dick, Ano ang pinakamagandang bagay na nagawa mo para sa akin? What will you tell him? Uh, try to uplift a person, uh, raise his standard of values, raise his standard of behavior, and raise his dignity. Hindi ka mabuti tao porque nagbibigay ka. I learned that in the Red Cross. Yung nagbibigay ay mataas ang kamay, doon siya tumatanggap. So it's important you raise your people. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Mabuhay ka. And God bless you. Thank you. Sponsored by Jonathan So and Karn Makadandang of Tok Tok and Show My King, Mario Theros of Ultra Fit Coffee, and Boy So of La Carmela de Boracay. Hi, people of the Philippines and people of the world. Hit the button below. And you will be subscribing to the Boy Abunda Talk channel on YouTube. Let's keep talking.